just by um, how many times it was used in round uh, in day number three as yes. well as day day number four. And mm -hmm. here we come to the bands and picks three quick. We have the mercenary band, which is a common band when it comes to round number one. And therefore, we see a very very common team constellation, which mm -hmm. is the challenge, which which I definitely expect for them yes. um, to put up and. Dangerous hunter like the Dream Witch in Ever Sleeping Town. You have to be always on your toes, and that is what DX is doing as he transitions away from that tram. You gotta worry about that tram. Be very dangerous. It could be very dangerous. <laughs> Transitioning towards the middle side of this map in the main body. He does see the scratch marks on the floor. I believe this is the most <laughs> optimal target being Billy. Uh, as the seer, Billy having so much kiting prowess, but the seer is definitely the the, the best bet here in Ever Sleeping Town. Look at all these pellets thrown down just to establish a little bit of distance. Now in a little bit of a pick, the survivors, mm -hmm. um, the leeches on the other side of the pellet as well as on your side. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take that one hit. At least it was the hit with the seer's leech, so that leech immediately disappears oh, right here. Look at this! Okay, he's jumping, and then uh, a DX. Oh, the follower. I thought he was going to sandwich him with that follower, but DX trying to look for the seer, but then knows that he was able to vault that. I thought he was going to jump right into his face, but great cleanup so far. The seer is still buying some time. Already past the one-minute mark. Patroller is what he's carrying and gets a nibble on the seer. The tram has already passed. I'm always going to quote the tram just to make sure, but look at that. Gets that hit on the seer. Billy will be the first one down. And we very, see very good hit through the pallet right here. Fantastic job. And we can exactly you just uh um want to mention you can see the fort is coming into the rescue a little bit moving in. We can see five ciphers still remaining. So that could be a little bit of a difficult situation. We have the CEO on the chair for the first time, but keep in mind, mechanic, here we can see it. Mechanic stall is probably what Big what? stun. Mm -hmm. Very, very big stun. Was able to get that each away. We have the doll down right here. Again, keep in mind, Mechanic was on the field for the entire time. So we can right. expect a bunch of Cypher machines being popped very, very soon. What? Seer got rescued. And now we can see DX concentrating on that one survivor. Wants to get the first survivor out of the game so he can concentrate on other survivors. Whoa! What a blink! You can really mm -hmm. see how Billy throws down all these pellets just to establish distance between the leeches and between himself. But with that blink, pellets do not matter. Seer yes. is down, Seer is getting on the chair. We can see the leeches are getting sent towards the portals. Oh. Yeah, big stun on the side, but look at the cleanup here. And that was an excellent sequence there with that blink because he did have patroller at the start, switched to blink just because he wanted to down uh, Billy right away. We see that SXY is trying to de-leech himself and the leech follower trying to get that hit. SXY, oh wow, no, the main body oh, follower. Look at the leech. And now, oh wow, good sequence there for DX to down the seer and it's his last chair. Double down, Grizzly! Got down by the, the, the follower of the forward stitch was um, coming. No, the, the follower mm -hmm. of the forward was coming right behind these two survivors, concentrating on the seer, then going to the spawn leech, bringing down the forward, putting the survivors in a really tough spot right here. Keep in mind, we still have the priestess who is right there getting ready mm -hmm. to rescue. We still have the mechanic who is trying to bring more decoding to the ground. As we can see, Cypher machines are almost primed. How many Cypher machines though? We sadly cannot mm -hmm. see it. There we go. Reese is coming. Ooh. Will it be it? It was a hit for the leech. We have the forward right here going down. But again, keep in mind, forward is on the chair for the second time. He can still yes. get on there without being eliminated one more time. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a very, very extreme difficult task. We, yes. I, I, I'm curious to see the cipher focus of the rest of the cipher machines, to be honest. I know. We see that the mechanic is trying to prime some cipher. She will have to go on chair duty, but then if we're, we're actually feeling the way the hunter is feeling right now, not knowing the progress of these cyphers, having to rely on the ebbs and flows of these matches. And now we see that x Rocks T is trying to find a way to make, uh, make her way out of this uh, precarious situation to probably go save the floor, but no, drops the, the doll here to try and bait out a hit from uh, DX. Wow, just <laughs> sandwiching. But look at the all the fourth on here wanting to, but look at that. The, the conservatives but oh. legitimate make it in time. Unfortunately, T has to be forced to retreat away while eating that hit. And now we see that T is piling the main body, but not for too long. 
and we see that DX is on a roll. What a move right here from the mechanic. Wow, was was seeing the the need to actually go in for the rescue of the Ford before he went out of the game, but was not making it in time. Now we have a very difficult situation. We have one cipher machine remaining. We all know mm -hmm. Dreamwitch, extremely dangerous <laughs> yes. late game, is having a leech on the priestess. Priestess utilizing these portals mm -hmm. in a very, very good way. But again, is having these leeches all over the map and especially um, mm. on basically on, on, on the priestess right here, giving her a hard time. We can see that the mechanic is trying to get into the basement, trying to find an <laughs> item that might help change yes. the entire game right here. Also protecting with the leeches, protecting. Whoa! Oh, Did nice you see job. that blink? Oh my gosh, the timing on DX, able to have that false sense of security and able to blink right away, putting down YJJ here in the graveyard. And look at that, the mechanic is actually here in the basement and healing up. So again, trying to recuperate their resources. T is at the, the basement of the corner house, while um, uh, DX really has to manage his resources wisely here because again he doesn't want to rest on his laurels yet he wants to get the five points for his team to give them that confidence and maybe even deny a, a, a match three and priest is right now at 99 percent could just get up if she wanted to i'm mm -hmm. curious to see what the plan is right here oh oh yeah i'm very curious to see mm -hmm. what the plan is right here we can see mechanic um oh um let me think. Maybe, okay, let me think. Mm -hmm. um, Priestess is probably trying to bleed out as long as possible and then mm -hmm. get up just in time to then take that hit, go down. So the second bleeding out time is very, mm -hmm. very short and then opening up the dungeon. So in case the mechanic goes down, mm -hmm. she could potentially heal up and um, get through the dungeon. So that yeah, is that why the Priestess is not necessarily getting up right away. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Why JJ now? Uh, oh, and you know what? Uh, he's going to respond to that and just try to bait out him f to get up here. T, though, uh, kiting for as long as he can. Uses the football, but gets a little bit of distance. Can she make it to the pallets in time? She is pretty healthy, so she will be eating that one hit. Uh, the mechanic, again, has that leech follower, so always uh, a threat here. And now we see that the priest is, is up and about but already used up the self-heal. So again, this is what you were saying, the threat of the Dream Witch, exhausting all of the resources. Priestess, great in late game, but man, the survivors are oh. all falling down. As I say that, the mechanic eats a hit and it is her turn to try and figure out if she will get up from the ma get up and start going or um, try to bleed out just a little bit to buy some time for YJJ. Priest is really doing a good job. And a Dream Witch doing a fantastic mm -hmm. job utilizing these blinks, bringing down survivor by survivor by survivor by utilizing the blink and closing a little bit of a gap where, you know, maybe a pellet could drop or maybe the survivor Ooh. could shoot around. Very, very good job from um, the main leech mm -hmm. right here, bringing down the survivor again. Fantastic job blocking off this window. And now we can see um, mm -hmm. that the mechanic is definitely in a very difficult situation because yes. she is having a leech, but she cannot get rid of that leech. Yeah, she can't. She doesn't have that anti-curse. And she was trying to prime that cypher to try and help up the priestess, but no, the blink. Oh my gosh, the carnage. DX again, living up to his stats with five powerful. Position number three in this tournament. And we can mm. now see mechanic has been banned, therefore allowing the mercenary mm. into this map. But the rest of the team is pretty much similar to the team of x Rock right here with the Ford, with the Priestess on this map, as well as with the Seer. So we can see Afu really does not want to take care or does not want to deal with all these decoding mm -hmm. that is going on on the map. So therefore we have WW coming in as Priestess. Interesting. So uh, just get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for a very intense late game, if ever. Uh, Afu will have to defend that one cypher. It's always that cypher in the center, that that um, that uh, alleyway in Ever Sleeping Town, and also the one in Graveyard. But then there are other cyphers as well. Ooh, he's not good. Okay, I, was, I think he's going to go with that Dream Witch. But Afu, again, a very seasoned sculptor, 
looking to get ready, and I'm so excited because this is still a battle of the third. These teams are still on the ever sleeping town. I will bring up something. Afu, one of Afu's biggest enemies is this tram. So let's see how he's gonna be <laughs> dealing with the tram is again. Okay, just take it just gotta make sure he's yeah, looks both ways. Okay, Afu rotating his way around this map while you see he does find WW, so this could be a great a first start. Did bring detention, does have teleport and quenching effects. So if he's not able to down this priestess right away, best be sure that he'll be changing his target, probably going for that seer because as you as you see right there, just closing, uh, able to just close out uh, distance so fast with that portal, and Afu has to deal with that uh, mini stun of sorts of going through those holy keys. Okay, let's see, this might be the chance. Oh, nice holy key as you mentioned. There we have the tram. We'll probably not make it to the tram. Oh, is getting forced to go a little bit back but there we have the seer taking care of the priestess really protecting her with the seer's out Teleport. now we can see Afu not dealing with it really wants to slow down the decoding and putting pressure good wow. job finding the seer who was already yes. utilizing his owl and getting two statues right mm -hmm. here this might yeah. be the, the opening for an early down for Afu of the seer yeah that was a great u usage of the teleport quenching effect already kicked in because it was the one minute mark so maybe he was deciding like i want to exhaust the owl of this seer as you mentioned and now upsy has to deal with his own nice done by zyj but not in not in time so um it did buy some time for the team to still uh push some ciphers and zyj already in the case in. look at that stun coming in immediately for the rescue right here giving upsy the the chance to, to oh hide. another one another oh my gosh. really buying dime right here and even taking the hit really really wants to annoy Afu so the seer can get enough time to get as far as possible fantastic job but Afu knows all right I have to concentrate I have to not get distracted by the sport I have to bring down the seer that was already on the chair once so therefore mm. really really going for that fight oh mm. wow try. oh then yeah so they, close, so it's close, so close a fantastic job getting away right here and buying time there oh that's oh. really bringing him back to afu afu brings down the seer now we still have four cypher machines what will we see will we see a rescue or will the survivors ah board is already getting ready to i yes. would think and rescue and to, to note, the forward is already healed up. He ate that hit just to have that great rebound kite of that uh, th that seer uh, rebound kite. JX seems to be the one trying to make his way. We do see Afu not really moving, waiting for his skill to th that chisel to be able to uh, re uh, refresh here. And now trying to see if anybody's in the area. No, just goes for a teleport. The proactivity here. Is will there the rescue? Yeah, will the rescue happen? Mercenary. It looks like it's gonna happen. The mercenary is so no! close, but he doesn't make it. Oh. Oh my gosh! There was such a good, such a good timing right there with the mercenaries able pet coming in but not able to make it in time. Mm. And there we now can see that the forward is the next target. Forward is taking a statue. It is trying to get over here. This is giving an opening to another statue. It and will he go down to the statues or will he take the hit of Afu? It doesn't really matter. Only one hit is remaining. Oh! Wow! This pallet he did. Is now. Oh, able to use the football, but no pallet in sight. Jumps oh. the window, but look at that, Afu. Quick on the draw there, able to hit him while he was in that vault animation. And my goodness, can the mercenary save so close. Just to highlight that at one point, just a little bit. The, the, the timing was there, but again, it was just really just inches left. And now Afu has his second target on a chair. And we see that the mercenary is on rescuing duty. No tide turner was popped uh, from the mercenary side. So he will try to make that um, that rescue happen. He will try to make that rescue happen. But look at this. He already took one hit with the statue. And we have the priestess in the game. So what can we expect right here? Priestess, basic. Oh, priestess is here. Rescued, rescued mm -hmm. the forward. I didn't even did. see it. Fantastic job with the portal right here, being a little bit sneaky mm -hmm. while, the, while the mercenary was able to distract Afu. Now Afu needs to get back on track, is trying to find the survivors, is trying to reach out and bring the next survivor to the chair. But fantastic Ooh. job of the survivors really splitting up now. 
going for the mercenary is going down with a oh Ooh, he was able to get the mercenary he's so precise with these sculptor hits and also to note that the forward was already healed up and also afu's teleport is ready on deck is he gonna yeah he's gonna go more proactive with this uses that chisel just to get surveillance around the area knows that the mercenary has a long time to be chaired so he does not want to just remain there since this map is so large ww though in a good position here just uh waiting so she'll be able to use those holy keys to try and close out that distance but the chisel is gonna snipe her out so uh, um the the hunter definitely has eyes Eyes on this uh, 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 priestess that can uh, oh wow and look at that um, gets a hit and we are seeing the mercenary about to hit the halfway mark what an amazing job we saw that the um, WW really tried to go back and forth try to avoid the statues from coming in but as soon as Afu was starting with the statues there was no getting away and she took two of them as you mentioned mercenaries through halfway we can now see ww trying again another hit right here she is oh. down with the statues how precise holy smokes we have the tram right here might this Watch be a factor <laughs> <laughs> and look at that there you okay go. they both do you see that both respected the tram They're like all right now the hunt begins doe fives JX is about to expire, but not quite. Excellent save, but the hit is going to hit the Mercenary. This is actually a great job here. Uh, but again, the Mercenary will be falling down in just a bit, and the forward going up to the second floor of that. Uh, WW did get back up, and I really want to know where these ciphers are located because two ciphers are remaining, and I can hear the wiggle happening that they have been uh, they have been touched, or at least some of them may might even be have been primed. That is a very good question, but we can also see Mercenary on the chair for the second time, but he was through the halfway mark. That means Mercenary out of the game, giving Afu the chance to really get that full survivor elimination that they need to tie this round right here. And it seems very, very possible because there are still two Cypher machines remaining. And as we can clearly tell Ooh. with this Teleportation coming with his with his ability. He can just monitor oh these cipher machines. He can exactly see, all right, there's someone working on this cipher machine, there's someone working on this cipher machine. Now we can see Afu coming in with a double threat. Not only the statues, but also the hunter himself. Now we have the priestess down. Um, as far as I recall, priestess went down yes. and got up by herself. <laughs> so that means as soon as the forward is going down, this game is decided in favor of X-Rock, which means it will tie round number one in total. So very, very exciting stuff. But Afu does not necessarily know where the port is right now. Yeah, you see him over there, ready to vault that window. Uh, just thinking of an escape plan here, waiting and, and monitoring if the priestess, if he can approach the priestess or if he can over at Corner House. But I think Afu already knows where, the, where his next target is and he is making the approach to the second floor forcing the forward to jump down and now the forward once again as you mentioned this is going to be really tough because once he falls down we are all tied up at five five one sculpture hit two more would do it and it seems like afu is getting more sculpture hits than regular hits that just shows his precision when it comes to the chisel as well as the regular sculptor hits and look at that cyj trying to make his way towards the pallets here to survive just a little longer is he pincing himself in a situation here he's gonna fall down we are at a five Five Grizzly. All these set statues. I mean, first of all, yes, you're very mm. right. Very, very precise statues. But at the same time, if you're in a situation